Rundown real quick of what's in here. Uh, roll the windows up. Sure, appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I got uh, two SSA Evil 15s on a Sundown 7500 at half. Um, I have two Limitless 45s, and I uh, also have a North Star AGM 220 SMS 220 back there. And for the vocals, it's a uh, two Synergy 100.4s, and then um, the alternator is a Singer. Uh, 240. And the doors are all DS18 except for the PRV tweeter. Okay. In the front there. It looks good. Thanks, man. Did you build it? Yeah, yeah, I did everything. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, and it's sealed off pretty good. Yeah, it's actually like completely, it's almost not airtight, but it's pretty close to airtight. Yeah. I did like, I use like silicone around all the shit. It doesn't look the yeah. best, but for what it is, it works. It definitely works. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, so. I I'll like I'll, it. I'll 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 back down. It's a little bit all right. Better. And up here, you're having issues, aren't you? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, it moves a lot. What's it tuned to? I'm not sure. I think 30 or 31. 31. It likes the lows. Okay. I like your port. Have you tuned it and tested it and messed yeah, with I it? Or? A, a bigger one and it was a little too high. It didn't play a lows real good. And then a smaller one and then this is like kind of in the middle of those two. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, it's just slight. It actually goes back about 12, 13 inches down too. Really? You know, like, like. Oh, so it's pretty deep. Yeah. It's real deep. Yeah. That's why it's awesome. tuned pretty low. But yeah, it does all right. I'll play this song. You so metered it? It does a 52 seal. All right. Which is, it's, okay. Whoa. Nothing great. I think 50, 53 is like the door open. All right. Awesome. Sit back and relax. One ohm or half ohm? Half ohm. Half ohm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
man. Yeah. It does all right. I'll play you one more here. All right. How low is that? That's pretty low. That was 26. That low. Man, ball. yeah. Yeah, it plays not a 23, but uh, not like super fast. It plays not yeah. a 25, like full tilt. Like okay. Full tilt 25. Wow. This was 26 to 46. So I like that. Man. Song. Yeah, it does all right for 215s. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah, and it's not even a B pillar. Not even B I'm thinking about after the show ripping out and B pillaring it. Yeah. But we'll see. Okay. I can't, can't compete with that. But. Oh, it's still pretty brutal for what it is, man. Yeah, so perfect on you for just two it's not yeah. good yeah it feels like four it, yeah a lot yeah. of people say like yeah 218s yeah. 415s I'm like, yeah it no, feels just like two. four yeah cool man thanks Ooh. for listening to it no problem man thank yeah. you for showing me no nice to meet you yeah come in. hey what vehicle is this it's a 2005 subaru outback okay gotcha. yeah. appreciate it man nice no to meet you man. yeah yes, sir. guys i'm jake Vavaro. hope you enjoyed caleb's build today uh give him a thumbs up and let him know in the comments what you think about his build hope you see in the comments appreciate you all watching and being subscribers and welcome to my channel daily cardio demo videos so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the shout out of the day today's gonna go to sal norton it said hey man awesome videos always give me a shout out big dog love the videos as always you know there's your shout out sal appreciate you watching man and thanks everybody for watching if y'all ever want a shout out, just give me some good feedback and comments and uh, say you want a shout out and you'll be able to give a little feedback and also check out your channel. So um, two topics to talk about. First one is I brought it up multiple times, but new viewers, some people don't watch the commentaries every time, recommend it. Um, it's also a good way for you to get questions answered. Sealing off walls. How do you do it? Particularly in this build, he used silicone and wood. Um, really good option as well as foam so that's a good way and if it's not just for walls also for trunk builds that are sealed off it's good to do even if you're wanting to seal up your box so it's not leaking those are critical for the smaller systems as well so ensure that your walls sealed off your box is sealed off don't have any air leaks and the best way to do that is do half volume with a lower frequency your subs move more which causes more air velocity normally so that's a good way to see where your leaks are in the wall as well as in a box so seal them off some of the ways tape fiberglass, wood, foam, silicone, carpet, etc. Those are some of the good options a lot of people do to seal off walls and in the box. So let, let me know in the comments if there's any other ideas for how to do that, sealing the wall off in the trunk for me as well as others to learn. And the second thing, port tuning to liking slash loudness. Caleb tuned his box uh, multiple times he said he tuned lower and higher he shrunk his port area and he extended his port you could tell how he has an interchangeable port and you could do that with any box if you built it right it's a lot easier on slotted ports or air ports where you can just swap out the um the depth or change the uh the um the the diameter so um but it's a good thing to do you can tune to the meter and you can also tune to your liking so say you're tuned a little high then you could just add a little port length or shrink the port area to go lower. Um, same concept with going louder is opening up. It's hard to open up a slot port when it's already maximized without shrinking the port length. But that's all I got for the day.
I um, appreciate you guys watching always. Just check them all out. Don't forget Instagram and Facebook. Add me if you haven't, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.